you might have a bad caliper bracket maybe because of the pins are stuck in place or maybe they're scraping inside or maybe this bolt got completely messed up well I'm going to show you that it's an easy repair just get a new one yeah but the thing is the new one doesn't come with the pins the bolts well you gotta get a bolt kit uh, or a pin kit with the boots for the pins well I'm gonna show you that because I already did it and I turned this one to this one and this one's ready to get installed Okay, to start off, um, first of all, this bracket and the other one that I showed, um, they are not completely new. They are remanufactured. Basically, you take this and turn it to that. First of all, they clean it. They do a lot of cleaning inside here after they get the pins out. Um, and then they paint it and make it look just like this basically looking like new right well anyways uh they don't sell i i i have i don't think i've ever gotten a, a bracket with the pins the boots and the bolts um i don't think they sell it as a full kit in that case you gotta buy everything else separately which kind of sucks um because then you gotta do more work right you, you're trying to just re simply replace that. Uh, I mean, replace the old one with this one. But no, you gotta get everything else separately. That that really sucks. Anyways, um, you gotta get to start off. You gotta get um, the pin and the bolt kit. Well, that was a little too close to the camera. Okay, you can see right there. Two pins, two bolts. Okay, these are the ones that go through here and here, okay? Now, the, the big bolts, the ones that go here and here, you basically grab them from the old one if they're still in good conditions. Grab them from the old one and clean them, clean the uh, threads, and just have them ready, just like hand tying it slightly, a little bit, and yeah. We'll go step by step, anyways. Um, so yeah, this is a kit I got from AutoZone. Hence the name, Door Last. You can see it right there. The stickers in the way. Um, yeah, so you need this. And you also need the boot kit. Which comes with four boots. But I already put two of these on the other one. That's why there's only two. So the boot kit from AutoZone, and this I have not seen it in AutoZone. Um, I had to actually get this next part. I'm going to show you. Uh, I got it on Amazon. It's this uh, silicone paste from Mission Automotive. I'll make sure to put a link in the description for this if you guys need this. If you guys don't have this, this is really helpful. Um, because the thing is, if you put any other type of grease, <clears throat> any grease that's not silicone or silicone paste, um, it's going to eat up eventually. It's going to eat up and mess up the boots that you are, uh, working really hard to put brand new and you really don't want to mess it up and have it, uh, Leaking the actual grease that you already put in there brand new and all of a sudden it just uh, it's, it, it gets so hot it could actually weld itself Inside of here, okay, and you don't want that to happen. Okay, because I had this <clears throat> I had that happen um, with a pre uh, The other old bracket this one is working, all right? This one's moving. 
but you look at this one yeah that thing ain't moving and that is because it the grease evaporated with the heat okay and it welded itself to the metal inside okay you gotta you gotta keep in mind that these brakes they they help you stop yeah but they get extremely hot that's why when someone's gonna do a brake job on a car that was just on the road most of the time they let it cool off a little okay just a little but yeah most of the time they're, they're pretty hot anyways um let's get started all right you're gonna need to get the pins out so get your um yep get your box cutter or scissors or whatever you want to get tear this open let's start off with just one okay just one and uh let me make sure because i think this camera is zoomed in a little too much let me there we go okay much better okay um yeah so we got one here Ooh, don't fall okay we're in live action don't no need to fall the thing you gotta do now is um put paste put the same paste around this all this area why because this part of the pin is the part going inside the bracket itself uh but before i do that i forgot i almost messed up on live action cameras okay gotta get the boot the boot is gonna go all the way up here to this part right here where the uh bolt goes on and this since it's brand new it's gonna be tight okay so don't be afraid of pushing this guy all the way up in there okay this is gonna be a tight squeeze come on okay you see that it's all the way to the top let me get it to focus there we go it's all the way at the top right there that's how you want this and then this side is going to just stay like this why because this ring right here this part of the rubber boot is going to go directly onto this part right here okay okay so we get to this part now let's get the uh, silicone paste or silicone grease everybody's got a different name for it but it's essentially the same thing Don't be afraid to put too much, because in this case, too much, it's not harmful. It's not actually better, it's just not harmful at all. Now I'll explain why it's not better either, in just a second. Okay, got it all covered up, all around, it's good. Now I'm going to show you why it's not a good idea to use too much. Because you're going to put it in through here. And you can see right there. Some of it is already coming out to the sides. What I do is just spin this. And then try to get this to go back in. Okay. If you feel like it's scraping, then it won't hurt to get a little bit more. It never hurts. It's just... If you put too much, you're gonna get a lot of excess going out to the sides. And you know, you gotta clean up a little bit. It's not like a big deal. Okay, let's give it another try. I just spin it going down and then spin it back out again. Okay. You're going to feel pressure when you're putting this in because of the silicone paste is taking up space inside. Okay. Got that bit right there. Push that in. Okay. And then when you're pretty sure that no more silicone paste is going to fit in there and it's not 
scraping. Right now, it's just very smooth going in and out. So then that's that's the time where you got to push in. There we go. And that's that's done. See? It's in. And we're done for that. Now this is the same thing on the other side. Okay. Grab the other pin. <clears throat> Grab the boot. Okay, push this all the way in. All the way to the top. See how it's still that space there? That means you need to push real hard. There we go. Okay. Oh, no, still got some more to go. Right about there. Okay. All right, focus, okay, there, okay, now let's use the silicone paste. I have to admit, it is a little difficult doing all this with the camera in front of my view, but I do it for you guys, so whatever... I can do to get over to you guys, you know, the better it is. Obviously, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. There's going to be more of this in the future. Okay. You know what? I think I'm going to put a little bit more. Yeah. Again, it doesn't hurt. Okay. All right, I think we're good. Now let's get this side. I gotta tell you, this these brackets are heavier than they actually look. Okay. Okay. Oops! I hit the camera. There's a little bit of grease inside. There you go. It's all a little bit. Go inside. Okay, this piece. I keep saying grease. It's actually paste. But, you know. Well, we're all used to saying grease. Because this is actually... You, you used to use grease on this. Now we use silicone paste. Okay, I think we can push in now. Go, go, all the way. <clears throat> Come on. Come on. There we go. It's in. Okay. Sweet. Okay. And that's that. Okay, now you get your, your bolts. You new bolts. Probably want to do this first, but I do it last because I'm pretty confident that the bolts are going to go in smooth and easy. I just hand tighten it all the way till it just stops, like that. And I do the same thing on the other one. Okay, now for the bolts. I'm taking right now, taking off. I think that these are 19 millimeter bolts. I could be wrong. I, I I don't remember. Okay, so these bolts were on the older, the 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 old bracket, and you gotta reuse these, okay? Because otherwise you wanna go to Ford. In my case, it's Ford. For you, it could be any other kind of brand, Dodge, Toyota, Honda, whatever. Um, the thing is, these these bolts can be reused, but what 
Ford wants you to do, and I'm pretty sure every other manufacturer wants you to do the same thing, is to clean off the old residue of the um, um, Loctite. This is blue Loctite, and I, I'll show you what it is. I'm not going to show on the video me putting the Loctite on it, because I'm going to do that on a different video, uh, where I'm going to be showing me putting this on the actual uh, vehicle. Um, anyways, so you got to clean that off. How do you do that? Well, you can do that by hand. That's going to take you forever. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's going to take you forever. I'm going to show you how I did it. And I used to drill. This is from Harbor Freight. You can just get it from Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever. Walmart, you can get a heart. Uh, not heart as in your heart. I mean heart as in H-A-R-T. That's from Walmart. Um, yeah, you can get this a drill like this from anywhere. And you can pretty much get this wheel from anywhere also. So, um, I'm going to show you what. So, it's just like this. There's other types of wheels. Uh, this one actually worked the best. Let me show you a different one that I got. I also got this one. But this one doesn't really work for what I wanted to do. So I'm, I used this one. Okay. And it, it's, a, it's a little, it's been used. It's, it's had better days, but um, it works. So anyways, um, let me, okay, it's on. Now, you can do this by using this drill, putting the bolt on your hand and going all around with the drill but that's going to hurt your hand, the, the hand that's holding the bolt. Because when you turn this on, that's going to be putting a lot of pressure on your hand. So if you have the resources or the, the budget to do what I'm going to show you, um, then might as well go ahead and do it. I'm going to move the camera now to the other area that I want to show you. Um, what I what I normally use instead of using my hand to hold something like this. Okay, and here we are. So this is my vise, my table vise, and it works like a charm. Okay, I never had complaints using this, and this is pretty much a must to have if you're. A full-time mechanic like me or if you um, do I don't know maybe woodwork metal work anything that has to do with working with your own hands you want to get something like this anyways so what I do is just grab it tighten it by the actual um, area where you put your your socket on and then you just make it tight not too tight, you don't want to break that. Just snug like that. See it's not moving. And then then you grab your drill and you just go all around the actual bolt and you you only moving this. You're not trying to hold this at the same time. And it's easier. So I'm going to show you right here in, uh, in front of you how you do it.
And if you want to, you can just put it in reverse. And that way the teeth are going in the opposite direction. Um, and you get whatever's left. Okay, simple as that. You open this up again. And there we go. Yeah, it's not going to be perfect. But it's better than doing it by hand. Because if you do this by hand, my man, you're going to be there forever. You see that? Okay, I'm going to do the other one now. Let me get going again. Okay. Snug. Now, obviously, I'm going to do this fast forward. I, I would hate to bore you seeing this again. But I'm going to do it in fast forward. Okay, let's take a look. There you go. We're done. Now, let's move the camera back to where it was. Okay, so now, what you want to do is to make sure that these guys are going to screw in. Take it all the way in. Oh, that one's got a little tight. Could be the threads are messed up on this bolt. Obviously, that brush that I used on the drill, that's not ever going to mess up the, the threads. Maybe there's a... Yeah, you can see little bumps on those threads. Yeah. Anyways, when you use a, a tool to tighten this up, that's, that's going to go... That's going to make it go all the way in. So that's, yeah, it, it gets tight. Let's go use the other one. Who knows, I might need to replace that one bolt. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this... I, 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 might, I might need to replace both of them. Yep. Let's see. Let's check out the threads. Oh yeah, look at that. You can see the little bumps. Right there on the thread. I don't know what caused that. And uh, this is the first time I, I take off the brackets on my truck. Probably the guy who did this before went a little rough. I don't know. Because if you look at the other one, I'm going to show you right now. If you look at this one, I'm going to show you it goes all the way down. And it stops. That's all the way in. Okay. Same thing with the back one. Goes all the way in. Let's see. You see that? These bolts right here, they're fine. These and other in other words, these right here probably probably not so good. It could be the uh thread inside, but it all looks fine. Wait, hold on.
I just noticed something. I had to take it out of the camera so I can see better. But down here, right where my the tip of my finger is showing, there's an imperfection on the thread. And it's probably on both on both sides of the bracket. Because it just comes to a stop right there. I'm pretty sure if I just gun it, it's gonna go right through. I don't wanna gun it, but I'm pretty sure if I if I did it, it would go through. But anyways, um that is how you uh, prepare one of these brackets to get installed. We just turned this one from being a straight up core with nothing in it to a fully ready to go bracket. Okay. Later, when you get everything ready, your brake pads, your caliper, your hardware, obviously your hardware goes right here. Okay. When you get that, it's going to be super easy because this right here, the surface is super smooth. Compared to this one, that thing is rough. You will have to get a wire brush to clean that up and hopefully get it smooth. But anyways, that's it. Okay. If you want to do this and you don't have silicone paste, like I said at the beginning of the video, there will be a, vi uh, a link in the description, okay? You're going to find it in there. And uh, I'll take you straight to this. Um, there's also a 3M. I think it's a 3M option. Silicone paste. So I'm going to put both links in the description. So you know you want to get this one. Or you want to get the other one. You can get it right there. And, and also if you click on the links and you make a purchase by clicking on my links um, I get a little bit of commission and you'll be helping out the channel and myself okay and you will be greatly appreciated if you were to do that okay thank you and take care of yourselves out there and stay greasy ciao